All right, what do you got? All right, so Tia Tappen on YouTube saying, it's my first time here. Can you please tell me how long my I-130 will take to be approved for my PD is July 2020? I don't have the slightest idea. Um, I don't know who's sponsoring you. I don't know where you are. Um, I don't know anything about your case other than- This is Tia's first time, so. Yeah, right, right. She has to tell me, Tia, you gotta tell me a lot more information. Who's sponsoring you, where you are, and then I can give you a better idea. Now, again, also, I am not the immigration service. So all I can do is give you my best guess. Right now, I-130s by spouses are taking over a year. If it's by your parents, it could be two, three, four, five years. By your brother, it could be a decade. If you are the parent of a US citizen, probably 18 months these days, it's just really, really slow. What we're hoping is, is that two things will happen is, one, we're gonna get COVID under control very soon. And two, we're gonna get this lunatic out of that White House in 13 days, and things hopefully are gonna start to heat up with immigration. Uh, par, um, Parminder on Instagram, I got a CR1 visa today and now I'm going to the USA in two months after my second marriage anniversary. Can I convert my visa to an IR1 on port of entry or will it remain the same CR1? Uh, it should become an immigrant, it should become uh, an immediate relative, uh, a, a permanent 10 year card because uh, you don't obtain your permanent residence until you enter the United States of America. And if you obtain your permanent residence more than two years after your marriage, it should be a 10 year card that you would be getting. Okay, O Powered on YouTube. I'm here on a visitor's uh, visiting visa. This is my fourth time in America. They suspect me of working because I was in America four to five months on my other three visits. So they gave me only a two weeks in my books at this time. I'm married. Uh, I'm a married woman, and my husband is back home. If I overstay my visa, what process is the easiest and quicker way to straighten this out? Are there any options for me? Don't overstay your visa is the option. File for an extension on your visitor's visa. Martin Martin Ang on YouTube. I had a DUI last August 2018. I finished all my probations and a 10 hour class regarding drunk driving. I consulted with an attorney and had them file my application for citizenship. They said it's okay to file if I only have one DUI on record. Now I have an interview in February. I just want to know, will they deny my application or what are my chances of passing citizenship? DUI is not good moral character. It's not a deportable offense, but it's not good moral character. So uh, you have to prove good moral character. Now, what I agree with your attorneys in the sense that um, you, the law doesn't say you have to have good moral character for every second, every day of your life. You're allowed to have a bad day. You're allowed to have a bad night. So you having one bad day of poor moral character and four years, 364 days of good moral character, uh, I would argue is good moral character. Okay, Yvette on YouTube. Uh, I, I married a US citizen when my son was 18. He's now 19. Can you go to college here when I receive my conditional green card? Is he here in America? You need a student visa? W what is the issue with him? I don't know what his story is. We need more more info. information. I assume I assume get a student visa. You could try to get them one. Certainly try. They're not giving them out right now until at least the end of March. Um, Dennis Forbes on YouTube. I was married back in 2004 to a U.S. citizen. Um, we never filed at the time. I went back to my home country. I also have a daughter that I sent here to my sister-in-law. She's been in adoption for her without my knowledge. I came on a B2 visa, but I decided to stay. What would be my next course of action? Well, your child can't do anything for you because your child, you bonds between the child and you have been broken legally when they did an adoption, even if behind your back. So you're like anybody else. Go fall in love, I guess. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.